Welcome to Musee Channel, I'm Zeya. I will do the inking of a pencil sketch made by Muska. For that, I will need, first, this small nib pen made by Bic. It can make quite thin lines and will be used for details. Then, I'll use this classic calligraphy nib. It won't make accurate lines, but I'll use it to isolate the areas of shadow. For more refined and lively lining, I use the legendary Japanese Japan, used for drawing manga, comics, oh, legends can fall too. Well, in the description, we will find the link to get these materials. As for the ink, I'll be using a black coiner, the best ink for my experience. And it also has a thin pen inside the cup, which you can use to cover wide black areas. If you can find a coiner, you surely will have come across the most famous Windsor Newton ink. It will work anyway. For refining some straight lines, I'll use the Unipin Fine Line Pad with 0.3 width tip. The final ink I'll be using is the White Ink by Coiner. It's going to draw white lines over the black ink areas. The pencil sketch will be erased in the end obligatory with a needed eraser. Don't forget to always clean the nibs of the ink after you use them, or the ink will be dry on them. In case the wipers want to be enough to clean off the link, make sure to have a small cup filled with water. Alright, this is the pencil sketch Muska gave me. Let's begin inking with coiner and a big small nib from the top to the paper. It's important to start from the top for you might touch the fresh ink with the back of your hand and then use the G pen to lay the character plus the big small nib for the face details I noticed that Mosca forgot to draw the symbol on that shirt and I will add it to the pencil. Plus, I will start sketching the lines of the areas of shadow over to the pencil. Then, I will line the areas of shadow with a rough touch of the calligraphy pen. Oh, damn it! Now I can close the areas of shadow with the help of the 0.3 pen. And we are ready to do the full inking. Let's use the tip inside the corner sink cup. This face requires a lot of patience and a lot of care. I refine some edges with a G pen. And add some details with a big nib.
We're almost done, but since there's the ink available, I will use some parts of the ink clothing with the white lines. For this, I'll use the white coin ring. and the picture is done. I hope this was useful. If you have suggestions for another tutorial, you can write it in the comment section.